here in the Bay Area in San Francisco at the third annual conference for the social capital markets, also known as SoCap 11. Um, but more specifically, right now, we're here with Joel Solomon, which is a real treat, as Joel is really one of the founding members of creating this space. He is the president of the Renewal Partners. He is the chair of the board on the Renewal to Investment Fund, and he is chair of the board for the Tides Foundation. But when an entrepreneur approaches you, um, and somebody, somebody who is surrounded by this much capital and can place it as well. What's, what's the one thing that would instantly be a turnoff in that conversation where you, you would, you would want to step back from that conversation with the entrepreneur? I'd have to focus more on what's the turn on and say that uh, yeah. authenticity and depth of meaning and purpose and, and values is really where, what I'm looking for. I had a principle early on which is I only want to do business with friends or people that I might want to be friends with. Absolutely. And, and at least in primary partnerships. Yep. And uh, that comes first and, and uh, alongside values and, and what's really the life purpose and mm -hmm. why is somebody trying to create something and, and what's their real motivation. And then after that, of become the uh, conventional attributes of competence and Absolutely. ability to pull things off and uh, mm -hmm. start with that connection. Though. And, and can this be viable and does yeah. it make sense as an investment or all the parties matching up on features that they want. Uh, leading with vulnerability Absolutely. is, uh, I would say, the wisest thing to do when in doubt, especially. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're nervous, uh, say you're nervous. Yeah or uh, you know, just attempt to do something real yep. and remember that you're talking to a human being who is p potentially feeling the same thing yep. despite the assumption yep. that uh, because they're able to make decisions or they've been around a while at things, yep. they're still a human, they might have had a bad day, they might have a headache, they might be fretting about uh, something they've got to deal with, who knows what's on their email, hmm. that kind of thing. Absolutely. So, so be human and understand that you're, you're with a human. That, I think we, we learn most from, from failures often. If you yeah. have worked on so many organizations yeah. and invested in so many organizations. Yeah. Um, but for you personally, what has been one of your, your biggest failures um, as, as an entrepreneur pulling together these different communities and organizations and funds? Yeah. Well, the, I can talk about financial failures, um, but I don't think that's quite as interesting. Um, perhaps my biggest failure has been taking so long to, to learn things that that I, I do believe I could have learned sooner if I had addressed my uh, inner work earlier. Uh, I would say to anyone that business can be learned and, and finance can be learned. What's harder are emotional and psychological and spiritual skills. And it took me a long time to wake up from whatever my childhood uh, challenges had been and to go and seek wise people and uh, techniques and, and places that would help me really come to grips with what was going on inside me. So I think I waited, uh, gave up, uh, gave up some, some prime years. That's right. That, uh, That's right. And, and I'm just thankful that things happened in my life that got me to do it. Well, I practiced, I, I, I got fixated on in my 30s, seek and ye shall find. Hmm. And I, I don't remember why, I think I read it in a book or I heard yeah. it at, at some wise teacher talking. Yeah. But what, it, what I interpreted from that is be real, figure out your question. F figure out what, what it is you're, you're seeking. Yeah. And, and if, the, if you can clean that up and go deep into that and keep asking that question, asking that question, and, be, and accept what you hear, uh, it might tell you you're supposed to change something dramatically or you quit hanging out with those people or something like that. But, uh, but, but, but really uh, find out what it is that your values are, what you care about and where you're trying to go. If it scares me, I should go towards it and check it out. Yeah. And so the creative arts, yeah. Yeah. along with the personal growth arts, mm -hmm. tend to be the scariest for people that are going to do business and, and conquer the world, their worlds, you know, that kind of thing. So I think mo we most of all must take the clues and the hints that come up in our, in our uh, persona that tell us there's something we're backing away from probably means we, we ought to work on it a little bit. Joel, thank you so much. That was a real gift and a real pleasure. Yes, and, great uh, questions. I look forward to the next one. Honor to be here.